Hi friends, Mike Smith here, Senior Minister of Minchinbury Anglican Church, bringing you our weekly news update from here at the church. And wow, what a storm we had yesterday. I hope that you are okay. And uh, as you can see from behind me, the, the ice is still melting even the morning after. And it wasn't quite the week that we all expected, was it? This uh, freedom week and the, the weather hasn't enabled us to get out and do everything that we would have loved to have been able uh, to do. But as the kind of cleanup after yesterday's storm continues today, I'm reminded that the cleanup has already happened, which I'm very thankful to God for. The cleanup of my heart and the cleanup of your heart, if you've put your trust in Jesus, that's already happened, hasn't it? That we are clean, that we are refreshed, we are renewed, we are forgiven and free because of what Jesus has done on the cross uh, for us. So that gives us great hope to keep pressing forward uh, in life. Now, friends, as we keep working towards our roadmap to recovery, thanks again for your patience and your prayers. Just a reminder that there is no public services for the next two Sundays. We are continuing to live stream at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., but we will reopen as I said last week, on Sunday the 31st of October at both 10 a.m. with Kids Church and D Teams and also Night Church at 6 p.m. So uh, please be patient and uh, look forward with excitement to when we can reopen uh, together. Uh, our Kids and Youth Ministries will reopen the week beginning the 25th of October as well. So you can look forward to that if you have kids uh, and youth because I know schools are going back that week and parents, oh, aren't we looking forward to that week? And Kids Club and Youth Group will go back that week uh, as well. Please read the full re roadmap to reopening that's on our church website. A link is in the description box below as well. Now, this Sunday, we are continuing our teaching series through Romans 12 to 14. Chris Gray is going to be preaching again on the beginning of Romans 13 and the relationship that we as Christians have with uh, the state, with the government. And we're going to listen to what the Apostle Paul says about that and uh, the implications for that for us uh, today. So make sure that you tune in on Facebook or YouTube or our website at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning or 6 p.m. on Sunday night. And now, friends, as you might be aware, as we head in towards November, November is our annual recharge month, our recharge season, where we uh, reflect on the mission of our church. And as we get towards the end of the year, we know that we can often feel a bit flat and that might be more escalated this year. But we want to be recharged. We want to keep pressing on in our mission uh, with the Lord Jesus and for the Lord Jesus. And so uh, look forward to that throughout the month of November. And you might recall that one of the strategic strategic objectives that we have during the recharge season is to fundraise for our Minchinbury 25 uh, campaign, where we want to raise $25,000 over and above our regular giving each and every year, $25,000 a year until 2025, to see all of our properties here at Minchinbury enhanced for the mission of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for our members who regularly contribute to the Minchinbury 25 campaign throughout the year. But if you're someone that waits until the recharge season every year uh, to do that, uh, then uh, please uh, prayerfully consider even now as we head in towards November how you might be able to contribute uh, to that campaign. Uh, a link to our building fund details are in the description box uh, below. So friends, as you clean up today and over the next few days because of the storm uh, yesterday, remember that Jesus has already cleaned you if you have put your trust in him. And isn't that wonderful? And I uh, do look forward to seeing you online 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. this Sunday as we worship our great God, as we listen to his word and commit afresh to living for him. God bless, friends. See you soon.